Uh, we have many alligators that will disprove that because they do have variation in the size of their face and what their face actually looks like. Now they're getting a little, yeah, look at them over there getting a little wild. Now look at them all moving over because they hear that commotion. Oh, look at those big old long jaws. He's like, that's mine. Oh my God. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we want to talk to you about one of the most common questions we get. How do you tell the alligators apart? Now, I've done a lot of videos talking about this, but it gets asked so much. Let's go ahead and cover it again with our tips and tricks and secrets. Are we revealing our secrets today? Our secrets on how do you tell them apart. The secret is, I look at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the secret. I look at them and I know what they look like. So let's go ahead and go through. We, we got, got targets coming right now. We got target coming up right now. Hi girl. Hi. Hi. You gonna try and bite me? Yeah. No. Oh, we got one? a nest and female bat. Oh, wow. Somebody just got a little snack, I guess. Now they're getting a little. Yeah, look at them over there getting a little wild. Now look at them all moving over because they hear that commotion. Oh, you got a bird? Is that what it is? Oh, look, look, look. I can't see. Those, it. those look like feathers. You see that? Stick yep. up. Those look like oh, I think one of them just nailed a bird. Oh no! And he's so that gator's trying to run away with that bird. All the other gators are going where the commotion just was, and he's taking off that way with the bird to get away from the other gator so they don't steal it from him. But uh, yeah, super sad, but it does Whoop. happen, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at the wing. Like he's he's right here now with the bird. So, yeah, they just I don't know what kind of bird that was, but they just nailed it. So circle of life, although we do feed them, they of course do hunt on their own. They're nesting female right there too. Yeah. Poor Flacco, he's blind, he doesn't know what's going on. All right, so uh, who is this coming up? Is that Forrest? Yes. That's Forrest. Yeah, he's gonna lunge at me and I don't have a stick to defend myself. Thank you. He's a killer. He is a killer. He's a, look at him. Look at him. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. All right, I guess back to Target. Not you said her name. Sorry. <laughs> that's the best way to know who it is, is just say their name, and if they come, that's who it is. All right, so we have Target over here. We got Boris there. We have Long Jaws there. So I guess we'll start with Target. Um, as you can see, Target has brown eyes. Alligators do have different eye colors, so... Some of them have green eyes. Some of them, it's more like a yellow. I feel like most have brown though. Yeah, it's the most common eye color in alligators and, and people. Yeah, yeah, so, so most have brown eyes, but um, I don't know about you. You've known Target for a long time. I've known Target for about five years. And when I was first starting to learn the gators, she was the hardest alligator to learn because she, we call her the normal looking alligator. Like there was no way um, no like scars, no means of identifying her, you know, just like a normal alligator face. But um, recently, well, the last couple years, she got this little nodule. I don't know if it's from like getting into a little scrap with another alligator, but she has this little nodule right here behind her leg. So that's a really good way to tell target apart. But I can just tell now just from looking at her face. And that, that's like with most gators, it's just by looking at them, like Chris said. But we'll try to give you like. Oh, they're going nuts back there. I know they're they're all going that, after that the bird. That one with the bird ran up on land now. Really? Yeah. My goodness. They are going. They act like they're starving. As you can see, they're all very healthy and they get plenty of food. Yeah. So Target just has a very normal. She heard her name. A very normal looking face. Beautiful face. Beautiful brown eyes. And then that nodule, so that's a good way to tell. Target apart. Now on to Chris's favorite gator. That's a lie, he doesn't actually have a favorite, but. <laughs> Look at this guy. What a, oh, he's gonna go after the tree again? You gonna try to eat a tree again? That's yeah. like his favorite thing to do. <laughs> he's a, uh, so we call this guy Boris the Blade, or, or Boris the Assassin. And uh, he is a gnarly, gnarly gator in the way that he jumps. He's chill just like the other ones. If I actually grab him, he's chill. But when it comes to feeding, he jumps like my head high. Look at him. You gonna go for it? 
He can do him a lot higher than that, by the way. That was like, that was pretty weak. Uh, we've got videos of him before where he jumps a lot higher and he does a full pop of the jaws right there. What about so. the trees? It's just so funny how he focuses sometimes on the low branches. We have yeah, some videos we can include. But uh, but anyways, he's um he's one kind of like her that is uh, kind of difficult to tell apart and that he looks like kind of a generic looking alligator. But um, what's interesting with him is uh, he recently got a tan, literally. Uh, he used to be a lot lighter in color, and then if they bask in the sun, just like us, they get darker the more time they spend in the sun. And so he recently became way more tan. Yeah, look, he's looking at my hand up here at the top of the stick. Oh, you relax. Well, now that you have him under the jaw, let me just quickly show the little marks he has under the jaw. Just like very, very you can barely right even under tell. My pinky yeah, finger. but right like there. there are, there's a little mark right there on the side. He's got a little scar right there. Yeah. But um. So that's kind of. A, yeah. a way to identify him and his eyes are lighter than targets yeah but um yeah so he, he is a one that is more difficult than others you know some of them do look very similar but uh, i mean to most average people they all look the same but i mean to me like these two look completely different oh, oh. you're trying to bite me huh <laughs> that's your own tongue in there a big goofball he's so funny oh look at this big old tooth Oh my Check gosh. That out. Yeah. That's huge. Like, he's like, that's mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's so fat. Can I see it? Wow. That's a that's a really big tooth. Yeah, so they do shed and regrow their teeth, cycling through several thousand in a lifetime. Oh, my nails are so dirty from digging through that nest. Ignore my nails, you? guys. You didn't dig through anything. I, I did like one scoop. You did well, I got a handful then, of rotten alligator egg. I know. <laughs> I've had flies stuck in my hand the whole time. <laughs> But you can see that the tooth is hollow. So, cool. But then talking about telling them apart, uh, the easiest is just look at, like when you have the size difference, look at these two. You know, so there's head shrinker and long jaws. And when you look at them, I mean, they're just twice the size of the other one. So they're very easy to tell apart. I so, mean, he has like, no offense, uh, shrinker, like a fat short head. And he has a very long face. That's why his name is Long Jaws. So yeah. both big alligators, but very different facial structures. So he has like, he has a very long face. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Long Jaws compared to Boris, you know? Yeah. And then Shrinker, like I said, the short fat head with the eyes kind of close together. Well, that also brings up uh, a common myth is a lot of people think that if you measure the distance from the nose to the eyes, it converts from inches to feet. And that is not really true. Uh, we have many alligators that will disprove that because they do have variation in the size of their face and what their face actually looks like. So that's not actually a true thing. Uh, it's a very commonly reported one though. Um, and plus, if you can tell me the alligator over there, the distance in inches from his nose to his eye, I'd be very impressed, okay? Well, we've talked about a few gators that are hard to tell. So Octo's right here and he's a very easy one to tell without yeah. even seeing his feet. So right. just, so let, let's talk a little bit about his face and then his feet. Right, so Octo, Octo. So like I said, if you don't know, just call their name. Octo, come here, buddy. All right, so here's Octagator. So when you look at him, I mean, first off his name, Octagator, look at those feet, he's got eight toes. He's an example of polydactyly. So that is a very rare recessive gene right there causing him to have multiple extra toes super crazy but then when you look at his face he's got a very short squat kind of face so like i was just saying a moment ago that distance from nose to eye does not work he's a prime example of how that won't work on him you know so he has a very short kind of fat head compared to what it should be i call him a butt face like he really does have a butt face i his... didn't hear you i know i'm sorry I, you're beautiful i love you in your own way you're you're special but his teeth also stick out so that's how i in the water without even seeing his toes i was able to, to tell so his teeth stick out a little bit but again look at his head structure compared to boris's head structure just different head structures yeah and again brown eyes you're beautiful I love you, butthead. Uh, I want to show you uh, Flacco, see if we can get him to come out. Flacco! Have you seen Leo? Uh, I did when we first came in. All I don't right. know where he went. Uh, sir. That's ma'am. Oh, yeah. But just, wow. She's chasing me into this female here. And then you got behind you. Oh. My goodness gracious. Not a whole lot of places to go here. Flacco! 
You want to head up to the front and see if he's over there? Yeah, we can. Maybe we'll find Leo too. There we you. I back you up, buddy. Oh, look at those big old long jaws. Come on, I'm back up. I'm back it up, son. Oh, there's Flacco. Oh, he came over? Yeah. It's Flacco right there. Flacco. There, there he is. is. Come on, Flacco. We'll lead him to the ramp. Flacco, come on. Come on, buddy. Flacco. It's much easier this way, buddy. Come on. So he's a very interesting case in that uh, he's completely blind. So he's missing one eye, and the other eye is completely blind. He can't see anything out of it. It doesn't work. He's hearing um, the splashing. Yeah, he does hear the splashing. Uh, well, speaking of... Oh. Oh, my God. Did they just get another bird? It looked like it. A bad day to be a bird. Wow. Well, it's it's baby bird season right now. Oh, the babies gosh. are fledging from the nest, and they're learning to fly. And they like to nest in these trees. It's not a very good place to be. But, uh, yeah, can't really make them not do it, you know? But, it's uh, so hard because I love alligators and, you know, I, obviously they eat birds in the wild, but I love birds too, so I feel bad for them. All right, so we got Flacco coming back. Target's being very pushy today. Flacco! He's right over here. Come on, Flacco! You just show him from the top, maybe? Yeah. If he's not going to... I don't remember. Did we get cut off? Did we, do we, ex we explain his uh, situation a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, we did. I was saying how he's uh, blind in one eye and missing the other eye. Right. So, total blind alligator right there. So you can see, no eye on this side. And he's a big boy. Yeah. Big boy. So talking about how we tell the alligators apart, they also tell us apart. They recognize different humans. And the main way they do that is the same way you do. They look at them. Okay. That's one of the big ones. People always ask me, how do they know who you are? Is it by your scent? I'm like, no, it's called eyeballs. Okay. They just look at you and they know who you are by looking at you. And then everybody's always like, but how do they do it? The same way you do. Now in his case, he's blind though. So how does he tell us apart by the way we sound? Right? So when Gabby and I are in here together, uh, he knows me and he trusts me and he allows me to handle him. But then remember one time, well, you can tell what happened. When I tried to touch his tail and he didn't know it was me. Yeah. He got a little nervous. Yeah. yeah and he just totally he ran took away. off. Yeah. He just took off running. And so uh, they well, definitely. Well, he's, he's known Chris for what? 10, 8 to 10 years, you yeah. think? So I, yeah. He's he only knows known me. me... Very well. now, he's got a strong feeding response, too, though. Easy. Bloody. I've known him probably for about like, like four years, but I'm only in here with him like maybe once a week. So it's far and few between. But yeah, I can, I can like touch him. Like he, you know, I can pet him. Blood. But you can see, look, the eye is a little cloudy, so completely blind. And that is just a random alligator? Yeah, it's just a wild gator we don't know. So in here we have all these rescue nuisance gators, majority of which we do not know. We right. don't know them, we don't work with them, they don't have names. That's just a rando gator behind me. And that's a wild random alligator behind me, by the way. They have no training <laughs> at all, not raising captivity, caught out of the wild as nuisance gators. So that's a big point I like to show is like, this is a wild caught nuisance gator right here that I've trained to be calm like this. And then that is a completely wild one right next to me. So we haven't found Leo or Brutus yet. You wanna go see if we can find them maybe? Are they in here somewhere? Obviously. <laughs> but I mean, this this place is huge. This enclosure is huge. Um, a lot of people, I, I don't know why, this is like an, on all platforms, assume that just by like one video, they have seen the entire enclosure and like that's so small that goes all the way back there you can't even see the end all the way down here and then like there's even more up there so this is a huge enclosure um and, and there's, there's multiple enclosures right right so lots of places for the alligators to go and hide so we'll uh, we'll go look for the other two and uh see if we can find them they're still fighting over that that bird all right so we're gonna show you another alligator and be nice be nice to her, okay? This here is the fugliest alligator you've ever seen in your life. You're so mean to Look her. Look at that hideous thing. <sighs> Poor Yoda. So, yeah, that's Yoda. No, she's, she's kind of cute in that ugly way, so. <laughs> she's really ugly. So we call that one Yoda. Um, that one actually came from another park, 
and so it has a lot going on there. Uh, definitely got beat up a lot in fights. That's her ear hanging off the side. Yeah. That's literally Hi, her ear. And behind the eye, you can see the ear opening that should be covered by that flap is exposed. And then uh, just all around, all kinds of stuff going on. Look at those teeth, the short, fat head. That's a result of metabolic bone disease from improper care where they had her before this. So just a lot of issues going on there. She actually doesn't look that bad from this side. That's her good side, I think. That's I think her the good other side, side is, is a little more... Uh... Uh, yeah, she's, she's walking away from making fun of her. Sorry, Yoda. So many teeth. Nice. There you go. So we can't find Leo or Brutus. They're in here somewhere. They're probably chasing around that one that's got the duck. That's most likely, right? Um, but, you know, we got to tell some of them apart. Some cases are even more severe. Like there's this other one called Little Dan. And little, Dan, I mean, little Dan's your baby. Yeah, we caught her on the highway at, th at about 4 a.m. Actually, if you have been following me on Instagram, you'll know little Dan. She's missing. Um, I always mix up whether it's the right or left. She's missing one entire arm. The other arm has no hand. She's missing half her tail, and she just has like the cutest little. Well, they're big bug eyes yeah. <laughs> that you've ever seen. She's pretty cute. She's I like really Yoda. cute. Yeah. No, you would have. Yoda is special. That little Dan is cute. Yoda is... Ooh. Yeah, so, so some alligators are easy to tell because, you know, they have scars, they're missing half their, or their tail size, or arms. Exactly. But yeah, Things like that. Some of them are definitely more difficult to tell apart. But if you spend time with them, I mean, to me, it's just like looking at people. Like, I recognize them just like I recognize different people. You you don't recognize I'm better anybody. with them than people. Yeah, I was going to say, you literally don't recognize anybody. Yeah, I'm real bad at remembering people. But, but I remember my alligators. Remember the, yeah, remembering alligators. Yeah, well, it's because they'll kill me. So. Which, by the way, for all of our followers, if you ever meet Chris, like, he, he's just really not good with names or faces. Like, don't take it personal. I don't remember anything. It, it's, I mean, I'm pretty good at faces and names, you know, but he, he really doesn't. So that's just... Oh, don't step in that poo. Oh. There's some gator Gross. poo on the ground. I mean, everyone, we have some weird followers that ask what So gator many people ask like what gator poo looks like. It smells like. So here you go, guys. People are weird. There you go. Here's another tooth. Oh my gosh, you're really killing it today, huh? It's like my fossil hunting. Gross. I love fossil hunting, so it makes me good at finding the elevator I tooth. haven't even been looking. Here's Target again. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mama. But, uh, but yeah, so I guess that wraps it up, guys. Uh, how we tell the alligators apart. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Please share, like, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. <laughs>